What do you do when you have the perfect photo shoot set up in your mind and then the weather throws you a nasty curveball? You improvise and come up with a great shot. Hello, welcome to PhotographyTV.com, where we're designed to educate, entertain, and inspire you around photography. During this episode, we're going to talk with a German-based photographer, Ciprian, who's been named as one of the top 100 professional wedding photographers in the world for 2016. And during this episode, we're going to hear a story about how he improvised and was able to capture a stunning image in the midst of a really challenging environment. Ciprian, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. So I, I wasn't kidding when I said one of the world's best wedding photographers. I've seen that you've received an award as one of the top 100 wedding photographers in the world from the International Society of Professional Wedding Photographers. Tell us about that. Uh, yes, it was a great honor to, to be in the, third, in the first 100 uh, wedding photographer in the world. Fantastic. How many weddings a year do you typically shoot? So around uh, 20, 30, not much, but uh, I think um, less is uh, is better uh, because of the of the quality I, I like to to deliver. Yeah, in fact, quality, Ciprian is as you know the way that I found you, and the reason I wanted to speak with you um, for for those that are watching online is. I saw one of Ciprian's photos on a Facebook group post, and it was a, a photo as I'm putting up, I'll put it up here on the screen, of in London, it was raining, just a phenomenal photo. What I love about it so much is the creativity behind it, you know, the capture. So what I thought we would do is let's, let's dissect that and hear the story behind the photo. Why don't you start us off yes. with how did it come to be and tell us a little bit about the setup and then we'll, we'll kind of go from there. Yes, I, I will start. Uh, okay, not not with the setup, but uh, with uh, with the story uh, of this photo. Yeah. Because we had um, we had first uh, the wedding one day before. Okay. And uh, the the weather was perfect, was really really perfect, was uh, uh, at the end of uh, July. Uh, uh, 30, uh, 31 of July, and. Um, it was a usually summer summer day in um, in London, and uh, I wasn't that excited about the wedding. But the after wedding shooting, I was about to <laughs> to do the next day because uh, London, you know, is one of the most beautiful uh, city in the world, and uh, it was my first uh, photo shooting there. Uh, I have visited London uh, a few years uh, before, and uh, I was familiar with. Uh, all the corners and all the uh, important stuff in there, and I was so eager to to photograph everywhere. And uh, I, I told them, <laughs> I will crush it tomorrow. <laughs> you, will <laughs> I will take you everywhere. But um, it wasn't like that uh, oh, because wow. uh, the, the weather forecast uh, told us that uh, <laughs> it will be uh, rain uh, the whole day. And uh, we started also this uh, photo shooting very, very late, around four o'clock or five, something like that. And it was really raining. The whole day was raining. And uh, I tried to find some spots, uh, some under the, the bridge. <laughs> it was an awful smell. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes, uh, a lot of people. Uh, it doesn't matter that it was raining, uh, but there was a lot of tourists, and it was pretty, pretty hard. And then we decided to go to the Tower Bridge. Okay, we took our car, and this is another very, very big problem in, uh, in London. The parking hmm. places are very, very rare, very hard to find, and mostly full. <laughs> And our, our car was about a 30 minutes walk. <laughs> and, um, you know, when you plan some, uh, some photo shooting like this in such a big, uh, big city, uh, you have to, to think at everything. And um, we, we wasn't prepared for this kind of weather and uh, this type of long distances between places. So we arrived at Tower Bridge, it was already night, <laughs> uh, 
and it was pouring like hell. Wow. <laughs> we had, uh, we had, uh, I had um, uh, my white big umbrella that I use in photo shooting. I always keep that in my car uh, because of the weather. You don't uh, I have. I, I want always to be prepared for this. And uh, as assistant, uh, this is also funny. I had uh, the mother and the father of the bride. <laughs> yeah. Yes, they they helped me with uh, with my lights, and uh, okay, I arrived at um, we arrived every, everybody at the tower bridge, and um, I tried first to see what I can come up with. Okay, I know that uh, when it's raining, it's good to have a flash behind the couple to light the the raindrops, but I also thinking, okay, can I do more? And uh, it was the first time I took advantage of my umbrella and uh, tried to put the flash under the umbrella. Mm. First, I didn't know where exactly to put the flash. Uh, my first try was uh, to put the flash in uh, the bright hands, in the right hand, that we couldn't see what was on the other side. But uh, the flash was too strong. Okay. Yes. Uh, we we couldn't stay there for long because it was raining and uh, the only protection for us was that umbrella. <laughs> so I had okay, I have to be quick um, and uh, tried a few shots. Then I uh, I realized that I have to put my my flash uh, the, the second flash way behind to light all the raindrops and uh, the flash. Uh, behind the uh, no under the umbrella, I had to put at the bright feet, and that's it. A, a few a, a few more uh, tests. Uh, the camera was very very hard to focus. I have, I think I have a very good camera. It's a Nikon uh, D three S, huh. so it's very good and uh, also all Nikon lenses. But uh, in uh, in this night condition and with the bridge. Uh, behind the couple, and it was night. A lot Finally, of challenges and, there. <laughs> yes. Wow. I mean, that that is an awesome story. If you had what yes. you had planned was counting on nice weather, and then variables came at you, you yes, had to make sorry. adjustments. And to your point, and you had. To be... I was very uh, sorry. I, I was very upset because at the end of the the photo session. I had only about 10 or 12 photos, but I think 10 or 12 photos are better than uh, 50 and uh, average. <laughs> there you go. The quality is what really matters there. But wow, you you made the most of the situation you were given, it sounds like, which is I think the, the moral to the story is you got to be able to think on your feet. You got to be able to quick. I mean, I can't imagine getting rained on to that extent, only having one umbrella I'm sure yep. you did not have time to take your time by any stretch. Yes, really. And uh, a lot of um, friends um, questioned me about the camera. What uh, what did I do to come with the camera? What uh, was it covered with anything? Anything? No, it was <laughs> outside and it was raining on it. Wow. So let's talk um, about so the setup you've taken us through. You've given us the story there. Give me a quick rundown on. The gear you use, you talk a little bit about two flashes, but kind of set it up for me as to what all went into the shot. So it was a Nikon D3S with a yep. 2470 uh, Nikon lens. Uh, two flashes, uh, the one way behind was uh, the SB910, uh, which okay. is the strongest uh, flash uh, from uh, from Nikon. I, I needed uh, the, uh, the strongest power, one on one. Uh, to light all the raindrops, and uh, the other one was my old SB800, and that's it. <laughs> that's it. So both of them were speed lights, not strobes. No, yeah, you know, speed lights because uh, the strobes are too too big for me, too big to carry on the on a destination wedding. Yep. And um, I, I have to have a minimum uh, package. I have a, a lower pro a rucksack. And everything fits in there. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, I love it. And uh, just the creativity to think about using the umbrella, light up the umbrella. I mean, that in my mind, that's what really made the shot 
pop was just the way the umbrella was was lit up yes yes really <laughs> i always think about photos in the sense of there's the setup the composition to the photo there's the capturing you know what goes into that and then ultimately there's the processing um you know take us through your editing workflow how much editing little editing did you do and how did you get the the final image uh in this shot i didn't particularly uh use much photoshop no really it was just some uh, removing uh, the, there was the flash uh, behind the bride I, I could see a little of it yeah and i removed it because that uh, that was uh, bother me and then usually i um, i export from the raw file uh, three variants three tiff variants okay. one is uh, underexposed one is normal and one is overexposed and so that i can lighten some um, some portion of the photo i yeah. can darken that is to it's kind of mixed hdr but not so <laughs> a little bit more selective in where you do it yes oh, that's yes. wonderful that's a great like, tip like painting on the photo <laughs> something like that yeah absolutely i like it awesome so Thank you for telling us the story behind what I thought was an incredible photo and the, the perseverance that you had was you know, really a testament to you've got to work with what you've got and think creatively. Without the bride and groom, I couldn't do that. And they were willing to, to have this, uh, this photo and they helped me as much as they could. <laughs> That's absolutely right. What was their thought process as all this was happening? I'm sure they're getting rained on throughout the day as well. And th there is another funny story uh, involving also rain. It was the, the wedding of her brother. I photographed around uh, three or four years before. And also at, the, at their photo session, oh, they no. had also, uh, rain. Yes, but uh, the same amount of rain and they were making fun of them. Oh, you were shooting in the rain. <laughs> yeah. Now it's their turn. <laughs> Oh, wow. It happened to the exact... came right back to them, huh? Yes, yes, yes. But um, they were they were very happy with the, with the result. <laughs> I'm sure they were. Well, job well done. I'd love to hear... Or Chip Brown, in addition, I always like to ask, what's a, a tip or you know something you would share with you know other wedding photographers or people that want to be wedding photographers? Uh, any advice you would give? Yes. So don't buy camera gear, invest in yourself in workshops. That's awesome. And that's a great tip because so much I think people do focus on the gear. And if I get that camera, then I'll get better. But you're right. Invest in yourself, develop your skills. That's what's going to make the difference. Yes. You know, my, my camera is 12 megapixels. So I have um, my camera phone is more than 12 megapixels. <laughs> So it's not that uh, that important. Chip Brown, thank you for spending time with us here at Photography TV. Uh, your photo is inspiring. Uh, the story behind it is equally as, as inspiring to hear what you went through, how you made it happen. And uh, we really appreciate you coming on, joining us and sharing your story. Thank you. Thank you for, for inviting me to your show. Thank you. Absolutely. Cheers. <laughs>